STG Repairs has served our customers since 2008 in Miami. STG Repairs team fixes almost all smartphones, tablets, and computers on the market. It also specializes in board level repairs, troubleshoot board level problems, no touch screen function, no backlight, no power. Replace knocked off SMD components on any board. Problems with water and other liquid damage and charging problems. We also do factory unlock, software errors, data transfer and recovery. We have a very solid reputation in the repair community. Our clients can count on our experience. Our goal is reliable service and competitive prices. Hello, today we are going to talk about preheaters. Buenas, hoy vamos a hablar acerca de los preheaters. Many of you guys have asked me what preheaters they should use. Muchos de ustedes me han preguntado qué preheaters deberían usar y por qué. And also ask me why. Today I'm going to show you a few information on the websites and I'm going to show you different preheaters that I have in stock. Hoy les voy a enseñar una información que hay en el internet, en unos websites y los pregires que tengo en la tienda. Ok, so, let's change. Ok, let me show you first. This is actually one of the um, unexpensive pregires in the market. This one that I'm showing you right now. But before showing you or explain you why would you have a preheater, let me go to the website. I remember visiting this website many years back. I always liked this website. The information was very um, interesting, but the, pre the tools are very expensive. So I never bought it from them. Okay. Uh, recuerdo este website que le voy a enseñar ahora. Siempre me gustó hace muchos años. Yo lo miraba y me interesaba mucho la información que tenía. Nunca compré nada porque definitivamente es bien caro. <coughs> Pero se ve que tiene buena calidad. Ok. Uh, the only thing that I want to show you on this is they, have, they also have this website in Spanish. So if any of you guys are interested in reading this information in Spanish, you can go to Google Translator and translate the, the page to Spanish, or they also have a, uh, this website in Spanish, okay? Now we are going to see in English, the name is there, you can see it, but here they're comparing four met methods of preheating, okay? Aquí ellos están comparando los cuatro métodos de precalentar, okay? Para precalentar un PCB. <coughs> Ok, aquí ellos tienen, they have here the number one, they have four, it's not by, in order, it's just that they have four, they're going to compare four, hot plate, oven, infrared, which is our, our IR, infrared systems, and the one that they're selling, of, uh, of course, force, conve force convection, warm air, ok, entonces, estos son los cuatro que ellos tienen, los hot plate, el oven, infrared, system, y el que ellos venden que es el warm air, ok. Entonces, si leen la información aquí, van a ver que ellos explican cada, uh, es específicamente por qué es más conveniente uno y el otro, ok. Hacen una comparación entre, una, un, uh, entre un pre y otro. They going to explain you here, they, they going to compare uh, these four, on the, you can read oven, IR, hot plate, and superior air bath, which is the one that they have. I'm not going to go over this because it's going to take longer. I'm going to leave this for you guys to read it and understand. Now, this one that we're using, <clears throat> which is 
very cheap. It's the hot plate. When you read the description, you will see uh, why they say now we should not be using because the boards, you will see it, it's right here. Okay, it's hot plate, you see. But in our cases, the boards for cell phones, they don't have, <clears throat> sorry, bigger components, so they are going to preheat the board very well. Okay, enough for us. It's going to be enough. Esto, eh, cuando ustedes vean, ve esta es la imagen que ellos tienen, porque ahora eh, en, con las nuevas tecnologías los boards tienen diferentes tipos de chips. So ellos dicen que uno, el hot play no funciona, pero obviamente nosotros lo que trabajamos son en celulares y los boards de los celulares generalmente, obviamente como lo, los celulares son muy finos, los boards son eh, bien, bien delgados. De verdad, no todos los componentes son even, pero sí calienta el board de una manera bastante efectiva. Ok. <coughs> Sorry. So now, uh, this is the one that I use. This is the one that I, re I, rec I recommend you. Hold on. Sorry. Didn't change here so you guys can see. Okay. This is the one that I use. This is an expensive, uh, it's no expensive tool. Uh, hold on, let me show you what I mean, what is no expensive. Because if you go to this company, you are going to see the preheaters right here. A preheater, let's say in this case, airbar preheater, powerful, okay. Let's see. Okay. Now there, this is okay. Everybody, okay. Here. Pre here, everybody, we go. Okay. This one, which is not good for us because it's too, it's too big. We're not gonna be able to put it on top of the. Um, of the, uh, sorry, below, under the metrical is 495, but they have until like seven, I think seven or $10,000 preheaters. Let me see, because I haven't been in this website for years, many years. Uh, you see here, air fund, this is $9,850, okay? So this is too much for us, but they have different price. We're gonna have to read this, but this is 495. So, but the one that we're using here, the one that I'm using, which is this one, this one is for $149, $150, okay? And it's going to be enough. There's another preheater that I'm going to show you uh, when I get it, because I bought another preheater, and I will show you is the same brand of the one that I'm going to show you right here, which is this one. Okay, but I don't have it yet. Okay, I just ordered. So this is another. Okay, why you should use a preheater? Por qué deberíamos usar un preheater? Y aquí nos explica. JVC, JVC, is one of my favorite uh, brand, which is very good, very good. Uh, and they explain you PCBs preheaters, okay? Highest quality soldering, okay. Lo, hay una, tenemos mejor calidad al momento de soldar. Less thermal stress, okay? No hay thermal stress, es menor, eh, okay? Eh, works at lower temperature, okay? With short work time, okay? Trabaja a una menor temperatura. En el momento de trabajar y soldar, necesita uno, un ejemplo, si soldamos a 400, cuando usted tiene un preheater, va a necesitar mucho menos de 400. Ok, usted va a ver la diferencia que tal vez en, 3, en 300 o 320 está trabajando perfecto, hasta menos. Ok, y se solda más rápido. Ok, y queda brillante, perfecto. Aquí lo dice, eh, una calidad excelente y ya, eso es lo que dice ahí, ok. 
So you can see you have an explanation here. You can also visit this website and I'm going to show you which one is good for you in this case. Uh, but it's really expensive too. I really love this preheater. This is the one that will be good for us. Okay, este preheater es el que sería buenísimo para nosotros, pero este preheater está en el precio de este infrared y con todos los periquitos, como uno dice, vale 1665. Porque obviamente, si lo compramos, quisiéramos comprar la base. Okay. As you can see here, this preheater is the one that we need for cell phones because it's a small, it's not tall, but this one is $1,665 because you need to buy it with everything, with the base. <clears throat> so this is the purpose of the video, that you can see getting this one is going to have, you are going to have a good result, okay? Um, I also gonna I order another one which is not expensive. It's a little bit more expensive than this one, but I'm going to show you in another video. So now I'm going to show you what are they talking. Remember the four. They were talking about four different ones. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay. This is the one that I'm using for cell phone. Okay. One forty nine. This is IR infrared. Okay. You can see. This one comes with the this infrared machine, okay, and it's very useful. You put the board here, and it's going to preheat, okay. Now we have they talk about the ovens, okay. Ellos hablaron acerca de oh, disculpe, we're gonna explain this in Spanish. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, este es el que ellos hablaron que era el infrared, okay. Esto viene en esta máquina, esta máquina es infrared, y Como vieron, como ven, esto tiene un preheated infrared, ¿ok? Eso es lo que ellos hablaron en el website. So now we are going to move, they talk about the oven, ¿ok? This is oven, you put the board inside and you can preheat the board. This, if you read on the website, they will tell you, it's inconvenient because once you take it out and you go to work on it, it's going to be... Uh, it's not going to be warm enough, okay? But this is what they're talking about. Este es el joven que ellos hablan. Bueno, esto es uno de los jóvenes que ellos hablan, ¿no? Hay muchos jóvenes, mucho estilo. Pero es así, usted pone su board aquí, lo re precalienta y después hace el trabajo. Pero ellos lo dicen que es inconveniente porque obviamente en el momento que usted lo saca y lo lleva a trabajar, ya se ha enfriado, ha bajado la temperatura. Hot plate. This is a hot plate. Okay. This, uh, this one it has is hot in one side and cold in the other one. So once you finish here, you put it here. Okay. So this is another way that you can, if you don't have anything else, you can use this too. Okay. Any of these that I show you, and you can see here, this is a bigger machine and this machine has IR, infrared, okay, estas máquinas tienen infrared. Se me olvidó explicar este, disculpen, I'm sorry, forget to explain this in Spanish. Esto es lo que ellos explicaron que era un hot plate, okay, este es caliente en un lado y frío en el otro. Usted puede trabajar, obviamente es más incómodo ponerlo abajo del microscopio y entonces este también puede hacer la función. Ok, podemos también inventar, quitarlos, hacer algo. Pero esto es el hot plate que ellos hablan. Y estas máquinas obviamente son, traen, todas las máquinas traen infrared para hacer precalentamiento en los bordes. Bueno, eh, this is what I want to show you guys. Hopefully you now understand. This is very important. It's a, uh, this tool. It's not expensive, and you're going to have a better result. Okay? Uh, let me change the camera. Yes. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you liked it, please give me a like. If not, give me a comment. Espero que les haya gustado el video y que les sirva para algo. Si les gustó, denme un like y si no, un comentario. Gracias.